Open Your Eyes is brought to you by the Belize Bank, our country, your bank. Good morning and welcome to Open Your Eyes. Start your morning right. I'm April Martinez. And I'm Paul Lopez. And good morning to you at home, here in Belize, abroad, anywhere else. Good morning. Thank you so much for tuning in on this lovely Thursday. Th Thursday, Friday, Junior. Friday, Junior. As we normally <laughs> say here. Um, April, it's a beautiful morning out. It is. Did uh, it rain last night or this morning? I don't know that it did rain in Belize City. Yeah. But I do know that we have that uh, northerly wind. Uh, that's sort of flowing into the Caribbean. It's not mm -hmm. here quite yet because mm -hmm. of all the different uh, systems, uh, the different tropical storm systems, and we're still in hurricane season, yeah, so that kind of prevents a lot of that uh, northerly wind, but where it can escape and get into the Caribbean, that's when you see those more cooler mornings, and that's right. a lot of what we're getting right now, and I yeah. love I love this time. You start to feel that Christmas, that Christmas feeling. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm not saying prepare. I'm just saying that's the that's the vibe right now. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling that Christmassy mm -hmm. um, feeling. And but we're getting into the times where the days are being a little bit shorter. The yeah. nights are feeling a little bit longer. Yeah. So it's going to be um, one very difficult for you before we go, and then two, it's going to be a lot cooler in the mornings. I'm very I'm looking forward right, to and, and, like this. And it, it's often times, a lot of the times, these weather uh, systems, or just the, the way the weather changes, um, could also change our mood. And yeah. it could also change our, uh, our mindsets. And I want to encourage people to to go with the flow per se. You see Stay how the positive. you see how the weather is kind of chill at this point. Um, well, except for the different uh, storms and stuff yeah. like that. Um, to, to find how you could emulate the weather and find that chill I in mean, your mornings. Find it, that chill in your day in your life. I, I think that w uh, right now people are are a little bit um, finding it difficult. To, to be positive and to yeah. be chilled. Uh, just because, you know, we're still dealing with the the, um, the remnants of the flood. I agree. And, of course, those um, in the Belize River Valley that are um, preparing for the waters to come yeah. their side, you know, we're talking about making sure that you're, um, you're safe, evacuate. Um, I think that uh, representatives from Nimor are on standby in case... You know, they need to get everybody out and so forth. Um, no hurricane shelters at this time are open, but mm. they will be open in the later parts of the week if need be. So right, right. So just be prepared. Definitely, April. And since we're touching on the news and what happened uh, last night in the newscast, yes, that was one of the stories that mm -hmm. came up uh, where Dwayne, he traveled down to different communities in the rural, uh, the rural Belize city along the Belize River mm -hmm. and got to see some of that and uh, also uh, so what this is what some of the images we captured mm -hmm. yesterday of the flooding this is of course water coming down from uh, the western part of the country mm -hmm. and we see that flood those flood waters begin to flow down through the Belize River yeah. And eventually what they'll do is they'll, they'll, this body of water will make its way into the Caribbean Sea. Yes. But it takes time, you know. Yeah. I, I usually, in my mind, I relate it to the La Ruta Maya. Yeah. And how these guys, they take time to go from the west to the <laughs> east in canoes. Yeah. And it would take a couple of days, a yeah. few days for them to get to this end of the country in similar fashion this body of water takes time but it will get to it you, will get it, to and, you. It's and it's not an occasion where you like the laruta maya where you stand on the riverside and spectate right. this is one of those events where you actually want to be away from right. the riverside I, I, and i think that it's important that we continue to talk about it because mm -hmm. you know you might be at home right now saying nothing that happened and that is said water that it comes yeah. not, but it 
it will get there. It might, mm -hmm. you know, maybe you're lucky and it might not reach there in the mm -hmm. quantities that it did when it was um, in the West, but it will rise. It will get, that is how it works. That is the nature of, of these bodies of water. They connect, you know, and mm -hmm. so if you think that because it's only been a couple of days and you haven't seen the water rising, that is not an intent to be um, complicit. You have to make sure that you stay safe, um, take all the safety precautions. It is better to be safe than sorry. If you, you know, put up all of your stuff up on a shelf and nothing will happen, the worst thing is that you have to take them back down. I, you I, know? April, clearly this is, and I'm sure we've touched on it here already, but this is one of the effects of climate change. Mm -hmm. And I know that not everybody believes in the climate change uh, agenda and think that in, by now they should <laughs> and in the idea of climate change but I think back to when Belize was uh, primarily a riverside community or riverside mm -hmm. country where we used where we used to traverse from one community to the next by river yeah. right and I don't imagine at least I've, I have I'd never heard stories of back then the river increasing during floods to this level because you had a lot more communities living along the riverside. I know for a fact the community that I came from, mm -hmm. uh, Kamalote village, that that was once a riverside community mm -hmm. that only when the highways began to be built, that's when uh, residents moved move away oh. from the riverside and they moved uh, along the highways. But primarily, we moved around the country by river and yes there were flooding as far as i could remember but not to the extent that it is right now and so for me that's one evidence if nothing else that something is happening and something is changing in our weather systems and our waterways i really like that you touched on that because um one of the things that i i enjoy about talking about just beliefs and progress and humans in general is the fact that we relied a lot on the on the trading on and through the river. Yeah. That is how Belize's economic uh -huh. system was established, Imagine. right? Logging and, and uh -huh. so forth. And so in order for you to um, get any kind of um, sort of products, products or yeah. you had to be able, if you wanted to benefit yeah. from that particular um, trade, trade, you had to live around, around the this, river this, yeah. yeah and now right. you kind of have to move yourself you from don't it want you don't to. need to it you, you don't, don't need, need it to. anymore yeah and so you know yeah. it's just a change of progress and a change of belize's um economic state yeah. um but but uh, all that aside you know um the reality is is that it's happening it's, it's happening. coming the flooding is coming we have not um, there is another uh, tropical system, not our own um, Belize, but, and we will get into it um, when mm. we hear from the folks from the weather, that it's not going to affect us, but it came as of a result of, of Hurricane Julia. Yeah. You know, so all of, these, all of these things you have to take into consideration when we are in the hurricane season, and you just try to be as prepared as yeah, possible. Yeah, it's turning up to be a very active... It was, they, were, they did predict that it would be an above-average hurricane season. Mm -hmm. I think two weeks ago, it was below average, but um, now just within two weeks, it seems to be average and going just above average. But April, uh, in, in our second uh, story for this morning that we want to discuss, uh, I think it's weekly that we're here sitting in these chairs talking about lives lost as a result of road traffic accidents. Yeah. And this one on, this one got to me. This on this one brought Tuesday, me to tears. Tuesday uh, again unforeseen unfortunate uh, who would have thought that when these students got in that taxi van as they normally do uh, after school which in their school lets out at 3 p.m. Yeah. and they got in that taxi van around 3:30 p.m. that evening that it would be the last. last time for at least one of those uh, students uh, in terms of him traveling home and that it would be a tragic lifetime, lifetime memory event for many of those passengers on that taxi van. Of course, we're talking about uh, Jorge Vargas, 20-year-old Jorge Vargas, who lost his life uh, in this 
tragic accident on Tuesday in right. Ranchito Village. I'll tell you something. I was I was I was listening to this story and I was listening to to the interviews that you that you gave, and one of the things that immediately came to my mind was it didn't have to happen if we just adhered to the laws of the road because one of the one of the questions on your driving test and i and i take my driving test years ago right but yeah. one of the questions on your driving test is what do you do when an ambulance is on the road yeah. and simple simple answer you is pull you pull out yeah. you pull off the road yeah. so that the ambulance can carry on because it's an emergency vehicle. Ambulance, fire truck, police. Whenever those are on and they're coming on the road, you pull over so that you give them way. That ambulance should not have had to overtake that vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. And that, that is the that is the part that I think bothers and upsets me because that accident never had to happen. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to, to put the blame on, on any one singular person. But it's the, the part where we don't adhere to the laws of the road. And that is the reason why we are sitting here constantly talking about traffic accidents. Because we don't follow the rules on the road. Yeah. Right? We drive over speed limit. We overtake in places we shouldn't. We don't pull over when we should. And I don't know if the ambulance was supposed to be carrying somebody that was going to emergency. I don't know what yeah. it is. But this accident could have been prevented. So the ambulance was uh, carrying a patient, a minor, and the minor's uh, mother. And there were two nurses along with those patients, two female nurses, and then, of course, the male driver. So this was an ambulance that was headed from the Corozal Community Hospital on its way to the Northern Regional Hospital. In right. Minnesota. What I meant is I'm not sure if the, the lights were on or if the siren right, was on or right. anything like that. So right. I don't know if... if no. If the, it w if the ambulance was giving any kind of signal that it was carrying Indeed. someone in order for the person Well, in there's an investigation you know? yeah. on, ongoing right now. What broke my heart was to see, uh, and I don't think we showed it uh, in the story last night because I didn't touch it, but there was, a, among other things, there was a teddy bear on the side of the road where the accident took place. Mm -hmm. And I could only imagine that the teddy bear came from the child that was in that accident where I was in the ambulance and we don't know the condition of the mm. child right now but just to imagine that this ambulance was taking a life to stay in other words the ambulance yeah. was going to the save irony, a life the irony of and it all in the event of that yeah. a life was taken yeah. when this ambulance got into uh, this accident but uh, an investigation is ongoing, as I've said. The Ministry of Health and Wellness has issued a release to say that they are cooperating with police to give them all the information needed uh, to kind of ascertain what it is that exactly happened here in this incident. I'm, I'm, I have to give um, a lot of kudos to the to the school. Yes, you know that's um, what I want. They to seem touch. so. Um, they're they're a tight knit community. They are, and and they are. You can tell that they are heartbroken from this um, this tragedy. And one of the things that I think broke me was the fact that he was about to finish. Mm -hmm. He was about to take his next step in life, mm -hmm. and and he couldn't. Yeah, Hugo. Did, you know, the dean Hugo Gonzalez. Uh, he's he's a man of the people, if I could put it <laughs> like that. Just meeting him yesterday, I grew to appreciate his love for his students yeah. um, because when the incident happened he was one of the first on the scene and it broke him mm -hmm. to see uh, the young Vargas on the ground mm -hmm. with a white sheet over his body not only because it's his cousin but also because it's his student and because it was a promising life yeah. and yeah. then then also he went to the hospital where three other uh, three additional students from the school were there and one or two of those students asked him or requested that he stay by their sides and he did just that mm -hmm. showing how in touch and in tune he is with his students yeah. and with his school so out of this tragedy we highlighted uh, 
a leadership, a man in leadership, a man in the role, playing the role and acting. I mean, the, the, role. the entire school seems to be um, coming together. I understand that they are helping with the, the funeral, the funeral arrangements and so forth. Um, but it, it, it's one of these stories that that your your emotions kind of fluctuate to. Yeah. From, from anger to sadness to, to feeling, you know, a sense of comfort right. and so on. Um, but the, I think the moral of the story is just, we were here, we had public transport just here yesterday. Yeah, I right? saw. Um, talking about public um, transportation reform and so forth. And we didn't get to, to the laws of the road or the rules of the road and so on. But it, it just goes to show that we're not taking it seriously. Mm -hmm. We are not taking the laws of the road seriously. We're not taking ourselves and our lives seriously. And um, these accidents are, I think that they're not accidents. They're, the human error can, can be corrected um, with, the, with the note of you adhere to the rules eventually. But we are seeing these constantly. I think, I don't know, I think every week, twice a week, if not, we are talking about accidents on the road. And I'm not sure what it's going to take for our culture to change and to listen and to abide by the rules. But I'm, I, I don't know about you as a journalist, but as a media host, I don't know if I want to continue talking about these things. They're not something that I like discussing, but we have to talk about it. So I think the motivating turn is that the community came together. We as a country have to do better and we have to continue having these conversations. Um, but we would like to motivate you this morning, and I'm so sorry that that is the end of our What's Buzzing and we have to continue on with the show, but um, have that conversation, be a community, come together, and hopefully we can make some changes in our society. But to continue to motivate you this morning, we have the eye opener for today. And our eye opener is taken from dailyom.com. Let's bring you some light. Colors are like the words that form a subtle language of mood, energy and insight. The colors you encounter throughout your day can make you feel happy or sad, invigorate you or drain your vitality and even affect your work habits. Throughout history, cultures spread over many different parts of the globe have attributed varying meanings to different colors. In China, blue is associated with immortality while people in the Middle East view blue as a color of protection. There is also evidence that human beings respond to color in a very visceral way. Red excites us and inflames our passions. Too much red, however, can make us feel overstimulated and irritated. Pink tends to make people feel loved and protected, but can also cause feelings of lethargy. Yellow represents joy or optimism and can energize you and help you think more clearly. Bright orange reduces depression and sadness. Blue and green are known to inspire peaceful things and people are often able to concentrate better and work in rooms painted in soft blues and greens. The darker tones of both colors can make you feel serious and introspective. So, Paul, what colors for you to wear blue? Do you know, you know what's my favorite color, April? I can't say that I do. All right, make I, a I'm, guess. I'm gonna Quick say guess. green. Nice, nice no? try, but it's not. I mean, green, green represents uh, to me, as I understand it, green represents life and growth. Yeah. So I love, I love the color green, but my favorite color is purple. Purple. It's hard to believe, no, right? No, it's not hard to believe. Is it? It's not. No. Well, purple, and let, let me tell you why. Purple, because purple to me speaks to royalty. Okay. It's purple. Do tell. To, that's, that's what purple means to me. That's what mm. I understand purple to mean. You ah. know, royalty. Uh, being, being, I wouldn't say of upper class, but just being royal. Uh, understanding that you're of importance. Okay. Understanding that you're, you're significant. Yeah. That you mean something in this world. I don't have a lot of purple clothing, but anytime I see the color purple, I embrace it and I love the color purple for that very reason. Okay. Yep. I did I wouldn't I mean yeah, I love purple too. It's yeah. one of it's one of my top, but my favorite color is blue. And not just like the dark blue, but you see True our blue. our our open your eyes logo. Yeah. The not the logo itself, but 
the water. Yeah. The water blue, uh, that blue. Like aqua. Yes. Okay. I love that because whenever I'm feeling stressed out or mm -hmm. um, overwhelmed and tired and, and just angry, the sea calms me. Mm. I just have to sit. The it water color, body color. Cal calms me and the color calms me and I could just stare at that for hours and feel much, much better. Mm -hmm. um, and then, of course, I love greens. And I have a very... Um, I, I love yellows, but I don't think I can rock a yellow. I... I I think my room is painted yellow. I like yellow. But well, you know, blue. definitely April colors and just to add colors are significant and it means something yeah. to us in this world. I mean, and the fact that it says colors are like um, words that form a subtle language of mood and energy yeah. um, and insight. I, I tend to think that well, right now we're sitting in this room. We were just talking about the lighting yeah. and how it makes you, you look or feel, right? Um, and that does go with some sort of energy. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you wearing today that is making you feel? One of the things that I, I always tell John that I appreciate about what he wears is that it looks like him mm -hmm. and he feels good in his, in his yeah. colors. Um, and then I don't wear dark colors when I'm feeling sad. Sometimes I just pick up something out of the closet, right? But when I'm extra preppy on the show is because I really felt like happy. Mm -hmm. um, when I am wearing different colors of flowers, I feel excited and overwhelmed and overjoyed. And so the varying meanings of colors, what it might mean to you, might not mean the same to me. Like purple to me um, signifies um, strength. There you go. Not necessarily royalty. royalty. But maybe also to an extent it could link it to royalty, just yeah. not in the same fashion that I was thinking of, mm, right? Nice. So all of these colors, I was, I was looking at this eye opener and thinking about um, the, sim the symbolism for white mm. and the symbolism of black yeah. and red and what it means to certain people. Uh, in the Western world, women that get married, they you want to wear white. white, right? But in India, white is an unlucky color to wear at a, at a wedding. It doesn't mean the same thing. Imagine. Yes. So it, 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 you wear black to a funeral in Western cultures. Other cultures, you wear white because white is the significance of death. Black is the significance of death. It's all of these weird, various meanings of colors that make the world go around. And you might not think about it, but it does inspire you to feel different in certain ways. I don't know about you. But I want to feel the weather this morning and talk to our folks from the Met Service and let's see what colors <laughs> <laughs> they can give us today. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, how are you, Chief? I'm doing good, thank you. All right. Can you give us the colors of the general situation for this morning? Okay, um, we can expect generally fair weather for the next couple of days uh, with uh, one or two showers developing at times. All right, and what will that mean for our 24-hour forecast? Okay, we can expect sunny skies with a few cloudy spots today, partly cloudy skies tonight. Showers will be isolated. Isolated showers with a few more along with isolated thunderstorms developing over the mainland this afternoon and over the south tonight. All right. So then that, does that mean that we will be having harsh winds as well? Um, no. Um, relatively light winds, easterly to southeasterly, 5 to 15 knots, and sea state light chop. Okay. And how does that affect our, our temperatures, our highs and our lows for today? Okay. Not too much. It will be warm again today with highs around 88 uh, along the coast. 92 inland, 81 up in the mountains, the lows tonight, 81 along the coast, 73 inland, and 68, 68 up in the hills. Mm, yeah, hot in a bell, my mm. <laughs> um, What about our outlook for Friday and Friday night? Okay, for tomorrow, Friday, Friday night, we can expect similar weather conditions. So generally isolated with a few more um, Inland in the afternoon and south over in the night. Okay. Um, advisories, watches, warnings. We know that the floods are still um, continuing. Okay. So we maintain the flood warning for communities along rivers in central and southern Belize. Okay. 
anything we can expect from the tropical update? Okay, um, in the tropics, the only thing in our area is Carl, tropical storm Carl. It is over the Gulf of Mexico, the Bay of Campeche. And it, at 6 this morning, it was about 250 miles north, northeast of Veracruz. It was moving southeast at 2 miles per hour with maximum sustained winds of 50 miles an hour. Okay. Carl is not expected to affect um, us directly. Okay. Do we, would we expect any sort of rainfall uh, from Carl, perhaps? Um, no, we don't, expect, we don't think that it will affect us in that way. Okay. okay. Thank you so much, Chief, for that weather update, and be safe out there. You're welcome. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. All right. Well, there you have it. The flood warnings do continue as mm -hmm. we were talking about earlier. Mm -hmm. So please try your best to be safe and secure. But moving into our show for this morning, we have a jam-packed session we for do. you all today, uh, beginning with uh, preventative health measures. Uh, we want to sit with Dr. Fernando Coyar this morning uh, to discuss general health preventative measures and how you can continue to be safe in this time because we're still in a pandemic. Do not forget. And then, of course, in our second conversation, we go from uh, physical health to mental health uh, because the University of Belize is hosting its recruitment drive. Okay. And this is all about intelligence and learning and exercising that mind and that brain. And so if you want to know more about University of Belize's recruitment drive, you definitely want to stay tuned for our second conversation. All right, and then driving us home, well, back to my home, we will be having the folks from Builders Hardware, because I have to sing the song whenever I say the word. Um, they will be in with us to talk about the mega sale that will be happening at Builders this weekend. And I know they got everything in that That's store. The they are, I want always sing that song. But before we get <laughs> but into But do they really have everything? I mean, we will find out will. when they tell us, right? <laughs> That's a, come on, Paul. You can't do that today. Not a shame, Lee Builders. Um, but they will be in with us to discuss what they have and, of course, much more. But before we get into all of that, we will take a break and we'll be back with more Channel 5 OIE. Stay tuned. usuario de eCash, la aplicación eCash está disponible en español. Cambiar el idioma de tu aplicación de eCash de inglés a español es rápido y sencillo. Deja mostrarte cómo se hace. Primero, abre tu aplicación eCash. Introduce tu PIN. Toca el icono More en la parte inferior de tu pantalla. Selecciona Security. Selecciona Language. Y luego selecciona Spanish. Vuelve a introducir tu PIN y ya está. Tu aplicación de eCash está ahora en español y puedes seguir disfrutando de tu cartera digital eCash. La aplicación eCash de Belize Bank te hace la vida más fácil. ¿Reúnes los requisitos para la amnistía 2022? Esta es tu oportunidad de aplicar. En el sitio web www immigration.gov.bz encontrará una lista completa de todos los documentos necesarios para la amnistía según los criterios para los que eres elegible. Asegúrese de reunir todos los documentos generales y de respaldos necesarios y las traducciones necesarias. Haz tu cita en línea con cualquiera de nuestros centros de registro a nivel nacional. Ahí presentarás tus documentos y completarás las entrevistas requeridas. Después, se te entregará un recibo de aceptación. Mientras esperas una decisión sobre tu solicitud, puedes seguirlo en línea y saber cuándo será el pago en la oficina de tesorería del gobierno más cercano. Una vez completa, recibirás tu tarjeta de residencia permanente que muestra tu estado legal en Belice. Obtenga más información sobre la amnistía 2022 y cómo presentar tu solicitud en línea en www.immigration.gov.bz Prepárate, el plazo de inscripción será del 2 de agosto al 30 de noviembre de 2022. 
Amnistía de Belice 2022. Continuemos construyendo Belice juntos. including our elderly, needs to stay connected with their loved ones. With SMART's Golden Citizen Broadband Program, senior citizens can sign up for 10 megabytes of unlimited internet at a low monthly cost of $25. Citizens over 65 can sign up with a valid ID and receive free installation plus one month free on selected broadband plans. Visit a smart showroom near you for more information on how you can enjoy Smart's Golden Citizen Broadband Program. Smart, bringing people together. Great Belize Productions Channel 5, proud winner of nine Caribbean Media Awards for 2021. Best Investigative Report, Best News Item, Best Coverage of People with Disabilities, Best Financial Literacy Journalism, Best Videographer, Best Television Commercial Spot, and the People's Choice Award, with two special mentions for Financial Literacy Journalism. And we are back, April. Uh, good morning once again. And for our first conversation, we want to talk about what it means to remain healthy and what are some of those preventative measures that we can take to upkeep our health uh, and perhaps even add some additional years to our lives. And so in with us to have that conversation, we have Dr. Fernando Cuellar, no stranger mm -hmm. to us, uh, and he's an internist at BMA. Doc, good morning. It's good, good morning. to have you good in. Good morning. Good morning, guys. And as I was saying off camera, it's a... I had to get broke in by this dynamic door this time. <laughs> well, so. Why do you say it like that? <laughs> There's no better <laughs> <Broke in>. door <laughs> to, break, to, to be broken <laughs> in by. That's how the park that with your body there. That's true. <laughs> <you. laughs> well, 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 let's break you in by breaking into this okay. conversation. Yes. Right? right? <laughs> um, health, Doc, yeah. it's, it's, it's truly important right. because without health, uh, I mean, what can we do? Right? Well, you've heard about it. Cliche is not the health is the wealth of the nation. Health is the, the wealth, wealth of the nation. nation. Yes. So and we without want without health you can't do nothing. Right. Even if you got two billion dollars, yeah, you can't do nothing healthy. with it. Yeah. Yeah. You are being miserable. You are miserable, and then a room with a, in a wheelchair with an oxygen tank and maybe an need the nurse side of you, but yeah, but that all. But that all you are <laughs> exactly. Two billion dollars exactly. Bunch. And so it's <laughs> and so it's important yeah. that we. Uh, of keep correct, correct. our health correct. and uh, and that adds to our right. lives as well let me um say that i am here presenting this time belize medical associates yeah we reached out to to channel five yeah. because we have decided a long time ago but we're actually putting the resources to to put up a lot more emphasis in health prevention care. yeah and by that, I mean we've invested mm -hmm. with the help of the government. And mm -hmm. I, by that, I say that government facilitates mm -hmm. investment. Yeah. Okay? They have the, um, I can't remember what the arm of government that does that. But um, that, uh, that, that facilitates that investments. Facilitate, like if you are bringing in a machine, okay. you could bring it in and you get a duty exemption, mm -hmm. for example. And I think that's the partnership that mm -hmm. should exist. Not that public private thing where the yeah. government makes it easier for the, the private entities to, right. to invest in health. And we've done some heavy investment over the past two years. Okay. Um, and then jump, on, jump into the water right away. Like for example, with breast cancer and breast studies. And so we have one of the finest digital mammograms that you could ever find in any part of the world. Wow. Where you could find a very microscopic, smallest lesion. So you could catch things on the start. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, Women could do one breast 
mammogram this year, 2022, and do one follow up in 2024, and they could say, you know what? This lead spec never there the last time, so let's look a bit closer. Yeah. And that's how you could identify things way before they start. And it's a good jump off point because it's breast cancer, cancer awareness for in October. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's really, it's, but the whole digitalization of our imaging department, the studies that we've done, we, we, we have an MRI machine, mm -hmm. top notch. We have now two CT scans. We have the ultrasound that is digital, the x-ray, okay? Yeah. And you know, as, as, as phones are, no? Back in the days, the leaflet flown with them, the analog versus the fanciness now where we have a, a huge difference, no? I want to and talk in technology, it makes a hell of a difference in health. Indeed. I want to go into the, the, um, the fact that you mentioned um, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month, preventative measures and so forth, and you were discussing the, the, um, the mammogram. Um, talk to us about how you would, um, would perform uh, a mammogram on somebody? What are the what are the procedures like? Um, how do you then go from giving a diagnosis through that mammogram, and what are the steps? Right. There? Well, the the general recommendation that any woman over forty mm -hmm. should have a routine mammogram. I mean, there are discussions about doing self examination, but once you jump once you're at forty and above, you you should request a mammogram, mm -hmm. or the physician should request of you a mammogram. Yeah. Unless, for example, you have like a f close family member, a mother, or auntie who had breast cancer, you could even do it at an earlier age, like at age 35. Yeah. So you're calling for an appointment. Mm -hmm. um, most women would prefer w female technician <coughs> to be mm -hmm. um, dealing with them, so they would assign a female person to help them do the actual mammogram, which is a machine that they put your breast on and it takes these um, special pictures, no? Mm -hmm. um, it's it's very very more comfortable because one of the reasons you used to hear why women would would um, shy away from mammograms because it was very it's painful. painful mm -hmm. Because the thing had to press on your breast, no? Mm -hmm. No, we, you no need for do all of that. No, with the all of the fanciness, it, it's it's much more comfortable. So that um, excuse of 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 having not a painful mammogram mm -hmm. is not there again, no? Are you okay. are you aware of the rate in terms of women that may be living with some form uh, of, of breast cancer without their knowledge? I think it's in about the 20%. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's high. And even so, I think it's still underdiagnosed quite a bit. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, re the, the stats that we have not reflect the true reality. Mm -hmm. I think the numbers could even be um, higher than that. Mm -hmm. And the saddest thing is that Many times nowadays, when it's diagnosed, it's already too late. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You already have the big cancer. It doesn't spread to the lymph nodes so and, and, and makes it harder to treat and for that person to recover. But there are, there are some small measures, right, that women can do in terms of, you know, you have to check yourself for, right. for lumps and so forth. Um, are all lumps and masses found in, cancer, um, in breast cancers? Definitely not. Definitely okay. not. And that's a good thing because the mammogram could make that differentiation, no? Okay. And you say, you know what, mm -hmm, this one looks really suspicious. We need to do a biopsy. Mm -hmm. And then nowadays you have the, the, the guy, the needle. Well, biopsy means that you have to take out only a piece of the tissue. Mm -hmm. So they actually have the ultrasound persons, them, the, the doctors, them, the radiologists that use the ultrasound to guide the needle exactly where part they need to go, mm -hmm. take out the piece, and then we get the proper diagnosis. So what, what, what happens when the breast cancer becomes severe and reaches a stage where uh, it's, 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 it, become, yeah, it had well, gotten worse? Well, the attempt would be to, to more than likely do a mastectomy, which is the removal of the breast, yeah. drain the lymph nodes mm -hmm. that comes off it, and chemotherapy. Mm -hmm. But by then, the survival rate is, is, is less, no? it's dismal. Yeah. So it's best to get diagnosed early so that you don't have to go through all that. Yeah, and, and definitely. One of the parts of the treatment, and I show you've heard it before, and that's always one debate in Belize, whether or not we need the radiation therapy. Mm -hmm. um, radiation therapy is part of the treatment. But as a country, do we, do we uh, invest mm -hmm. in, uh, in, in radiation therapy? Because that's um, 
a huge multi-million dollar type investment, no? Um, I've had this discussion with colleagues and the, the opinions are varied. Um, my personal and professional thing is that for this part, we partner with, with another place, like maybe Mexico or Guatemala, and say, you know what? I want guarantee for pay 50 radiation therapies per, per annum and for, for 50 different persons so that we don't have to go through the whole investment of radiation machines and so forth here in Belize. But we're here yeah. to talk about preventative measures. Right. So in, in this grand scheme of things, when we're talking about in the respect of breast cancer, how can we, how can we as women try to prevent? I know we can't prevent cancer. That, that, that is, a, you know, cells de depleting right. and so forth. But um, how can we begin to check, like, to not get it to a terminal state? How can right. we do that? Well, one of the things I always tell people, and it doesn't only apply to breast cancer, is know your family history. Mm -hmm. Take one e time out, one e Sunday, as, as where, where mommy may had, or where auntie may dead, or where granny dead from. Mm -hmm. Sometimes these questions can be answered. Know the family history. Mm -hmm. And then if they say, boy, my my sister dead from breast cancer, then that raises a flag. Mm -hmm. So the woman should start to check themselves, the, the self-checking. Go to your physician, ask them to be checked. Um, and, and, and even so, it's, it's, it's something, like I said, apart, if you do a check and you find that, you know, you find nothing suspicious, you still ask for the mammogram at the age 40 and above. What is the know? stigma with um, going to the doctor? And, and, and I ask that because, like you rightfully mentioned, do a checkup, right? Yeah. But people don't want right. to generally go to you the know, doctor. You that's, know, that's a culture that I see dwindling. Okay. Honestly, I'm happy about that, that we not see that whole thing like 20 years ago. Me don't wear a doctor because mm -hmm. I ain't preferred for no. Mm -hmm. I don't, yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to know where mm -hmm. I got. I want dead for something yeah. anyway. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. But then when you re when people realize, listen, if you could identify risk factors for having one stroke or one heart attack, and you tell them what you're my boy or my girl, if you got a freaking stroke, you want to lay up in a little bed, you want to can't feed yourself, you want to clean your own backside, you want to develop by the sore quality of life done. Why if your husband have to stay home or one of the picnic they have to mind you, that they know a nice life. So yeah. they're not about just wake up dead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> if you slowly start <laughs> to wither <laughs> away. And, yeah. And the family, everybody suffers. So that was self and I think it's it's coming less. You still find the occasional why better not. Know. Do you think it's because of a generational shift? Of like, course, of no. course. I'm seeing thirty <laughs> like the famous thing now we gonna the, the, the prostate cancers, no? Right. And in men, man no one go no doctor because they don't want the finger. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you did? Yes. But um, they have one blood test that you could use as a screening method. Mm -hmm. um, you have the ultrasounds, the imaging that are much also very helpful. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. you know, I jump in a by office and I say, watch, I drop your pants, you want get the finger today. Yeah. Okay? There is yeah, 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 you yeah, have yeah, ways. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. I'm not fair again because... Yeah. Uh, you know, believe it or not, we, we are not a Latin cultured person, but we believe this group, eh? Macho! Indeed. We don't want to eh? put no finger nowhere away. Eh? Well, I mean, right. And, and so it, it goes into, into how we can prevent these measures for uh, prostate cancer as well as like colon cancer, right. right? So um, do we also have that culture we don't want to get a colonoscopy? Exactly. We have, it, yes. we have it. We have it. We have it. We have it. Unfortunate that I, that's that one even more trickier because talking about a colonoscopy, which you want to test with and put one camera up your backside and looking at the colon, um, requires certain preparation. The procedure itself, you need to leave the sedation. It's a little bit costly. Yes. So, um, but anybody over age fifty, you need one colonoscopy. Even if you go to bathroom perfect, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. even if you feel like your bowel is perfect, you still need a colonoscopy. And again, knowing family history, if your pa, grandpa, uncle dead from colon cancer, then definitely um, you you'd be wise to. But you save it. You must save only two hundred dollars a year. What happens? What does, it, for, for, um, what does the colonoscopy show, though? What are you doing? Yeah, what it does is a camera. It's a natural camera mm -hmm. that is inserted, mm -hmm. and you can look in at the lining of the colon, which is the large intestine, and this, the lining should look one certain way smooth and pink and pretty 
but then you could notice the lumps, for example, mm -hmm. okay, or the masses, uh, where could be polyps or so. So once the doctor notice, hey, the sleep part look a little bit different, make a take one biopsy, boom, you take the biopsy, and then God forbid, it turned out to be cancer, no? Mm -hmm. The same thing with the upper part, now if you have stomach issues, and so you do your, your upper endoscopy for do that, no? So for preventative measures, so, um, so that this doesn't happen, what can we do in terms of diet yeah, to help yeah. us? Yeah. One of the things that I, I can come back on a bit, you, you always ask the person for do at least one annual checkup, guys. Mm -hmm. Once a year. And for not forget things, do it wrong your birthday. Give yourself a little birthday gift. Mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. <laughs> give yourself a birthday gift of a colonoscopy. For, for, for <laughs> a colonoscopy. <laughs> not go ask for it every six months, guys. Because it's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> so you do your annual checkup and you have an interview with your doctor. The doctor asks you about your family history. Yeah. He asks you about any symptoms. You do a, a physical examination. And then you have a basic, you could do a basic patch, package of tests. Check your sugar, check your blood pressure, check your cholesterol, check your kidney function. Mm -hmm. And then that's how you could pick up things early, no? Mm -hmm. um, goes right back to where you were asked um, about living a healthy lifestyle. Mm -hmm. No, you don't look for me and say, hey, last one for the time for healthy lifestyle, <laughs> which is true. I used to begin a cycling and drop it off. COVID come, boom, mess me up. And a full-fledged diabetic now, insulin user twice a day. Wow. Wow. Um, and so definitely you still have to be conscious about eating healthy mm -hmm. and exercising regularly. Mm -hmm. um, drop the cigarette smoke, better the, 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 the weed maybe, but drop the, the tobacco and then you'll be very careful with your alcohol yeah. Yeah. what what okay. happens to because I, I hear you mention ages 40 and 50 uh, and those upper ages thankfully i'm not there yet 40 and 50 are the upper ages my that boy. okay sorry i feel like <laughs> i offend some people Middle yes, age. Age. ages so <laughs> I, I don't want to offend nobody but what <laughs> i'm going to watch you too <laughs> like you talk what starts to happen to the body at those ages that 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 these signs start to show up around that time. Well, that's a good question. I'm not sure if I go answer it fully, but aging now a process where your body change, um, you you start to have more pain in your knees and joints, for example. Um, aging process are where it's a natural thing that the cells die off as you go along, yeah. so symptoms start to appear. Right. Yeah? Hormones start to change. All of these things. Um, back to, to women's health, no? Yeah. With the changes in hormones and so forth. But something yeah. like um, cancer, which is not necessarily, uh, it, it hits any, any age, you know. Yeah. Um, what are some of the things that we should be aware of when it comes to family members that have been diagnosed with, particularly breast cancer? Well, like I said, if you have a very, well, a first degree relative, I call it, your ma, um, you definitely have to be an alert for breast cancer and also you start even earlier to get screened mm -hmm. okay 35 and above you're not gonna screen one well, 17 year old neither mm -hmm. no but um then you you, you you do your research you learn to do your your breast cancer examination you know your body do is if there's changes and then when the appropriate age appro approaches then you do your your mammogram no mm -hmm. yeah. um, but it's important to do your family history yeah. yeah. A lot of the times we don't we don't know it, um, or you know, if they don't go and get checked right. and then they just die, quote unquote, from natural causes, yeah. um, we kind of just rule it out, right? We don't yeah. really go and. And, um, and again, I I started by, by by telling I want to tell the public and through this medium that at medical associates that's what we've invested in, mm -hmm. in, in in the things that we use to to, to early detection of of different problems no mm -hmm. um the, the the lab for example with the blood tests and so forth we get much more better quality and and the colon issues and the breast issues and the prostate issues and, and so forth no so that we know only the worry about fix you yeah. but try to prevent that it happen to you so for somebody like okay. me that i don't necessarily feel uh, any sort of issues with my body um there's not much difficulties I'm dealing with uh, but if I say I want to go and just do a general checkup you know uh, and God forbid something 
shows up or maybe it's, it's positive that something shows up because then you could take preventative measures. But if I go over to uh, BMA, what will I undergo okay. in terms of a, just a general well, checkup? Well, you will, of course, have an appointment. You're going to the doctor's office. Um, hopefully he or she makes you feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. You initiate an interview and discussion. I will ask you your age, what kind of work you do, yeah. if you smoke, if you drink. Again, going back to that family history, if there's any... Well, my father, my diabetic, so I know, well, we have to mm. check for diabetes big mm -hmm. time, no? Um, after that interview, that verbal inter interchange, then you do an examination, check your pressure, listen to your heart, your lungs, check your belly, um, look at your extremities, um, and see if you notice anything on the surface, no? Yeah. And then, then from there you are given a um, well, request form for do this, the test them that you did. Like for example, you say, well, my pa had um, heart, well, heart attack at age 40. Mm -hmm. So I, I need to concentrate a little bit more for the heart. So mm -hmm. you have some tests then that you look at on the heart more in depth from an earlier time. So you go identify it earlier. Or you go ask, um, many times I would ask you, um, you had any childhood illness? Yeah. I'm like, mm, I'm not sure. Uh, well, please go ask your ma. <laughs> okay? Uh, <laughs> so far, mm -hmm. now you start to become more aware of your your own personal history. If you may hospitalize, if you may, if you may, uh, if, if you had journeys when you were young, if they may tell you your mother that you had a mama when you may uh, in a hospital, and when she had you, you spent two, you had to spend two weeks in a day in the hospital instead of the mm -hmm. one day, two day thing, you know? Mm -hmm. So all of these in pieces of pressure are super important. Now I would imagine that doing these checkups uh, is important because your doctor can see and find things that you yourself can't identify mm -hmm. solely by feeling and looking. Watch out. I, I'm not sure, but I think you're in your late 20s. The, the early 30s. The early 30s. You feel like you're a superman, my yeah. boy. Make out that steel. Indeed. Yeah. Uh, we were all there. Yeah. <laughs> <And> <laughs> but you, you still need your checkup because mm -hmm. even superman have a kryptonite, no? Mm -hmm. Indeed. So you, you, you need to get checked. You need as, check. as an internist, what is a, a commonality that you see Diabetes, in the Diabetes, hypertension. Not that the bread and butter of our help care delivery and all that. Genetics I, or just ten health? ten people I see for the day, well, six I didn't have some issue with either diabetes or hypertension, hypertension. which has long-term effect, no? Mm -hmm. Yeah, among your heart, your eyes, your kidneys, right. if you don't take care of it and you hear about the famous kidney failures and the dialysis and the quality of life people who got dialysis and the cost of dialysis mm -hmm. and all that thing. And things can be dealt with from an early age so you know pre you prevent that not happen no yeah the the um the concept of diabetes and hypertension being our top two in belize is it due to genetics or is it due to the way we carry i think most of the lifestyle lifestyle, lifestyle no mm -hmm. we we um tend to have a very starch driven diet that which are complex sugars mm -hmm. we eat with a lot of sugary stuff mm -hmm. um there's a lot of obesity. Yes. Okay, obesity. Now. Okay. Obesity that not just look fat. You I know. was just about obesity to ask. Obesity has been linked to even cancers. Mm -hmm. So obesity is a disease by itself. Well, yes, because so. it's a. So when we talk about um, how you are as a weight wise, what is the scale for obesity in Belize? What is the what is the general scale that you would be? All right, you know, just overweight. Right. You're obese. There's a there's a formula called a body mass index yes what we take out it depends on your height and weight mm -hmm. um and you get one number and then you're, you're classified whether you're obese or not no mm -hmm. i have always thought that for example these numbers have been developing at the caucasian yes <laughs> but absolutely uh, man for pg i don't know if you could apply it to the same <laughs> in the, I, I don't yeah. see no i don't see no six foot five um catchy person yet uh -huh. okay right. and, right. and uh -huh. so the, you you have to adjust no? right yeah. and then you hear the, the artists that they have tell about how fluffy good for you know my girl season done 
I mean, <laughs> the, then, uh, 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 I mean, obesity does bring its problems. Mm -hmm. So that whole fluffy thing, some good. I like the roly poly kind of thing, but yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so how do we prevent this? <laughs> prevent <laughs> what? How do we prevent? We uh, eat healthier. Uh, no, I mean, we, we you you can't tell one one, one Belizean person for eat less rice because yeah, you know, less so you have to work on it, kick. no. Listen, you could eat the rice, but yeah. less smaller portion, but, but in less the, days of the week, for example. In, like the, in the lines of like hypertension, that you do, do you all right. look at the diet as well, or do you also... Oh, yes, oh yes, you have to be careful with your salt intake. Mm -hmm. um, we like salt, we like uh, MSNG, that's why certain yes. slash chicken, so nice because you have that MSG, we're very addictive, mm -hmm. that tastes, you pass right from the certain places mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I smell that bug and I, I, I just dry up yes yeah. your, your mouth has that I see I see, I see maybe the company stays and he land at the airport and he First need place. Head, he need try head that <laughs> that either Darius or Lichi but we have a we have <laughs> a, a, a a mentality that you know um, our 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 produce and our foods are not um, you know saturated in in all of these preservatives and so forth so we think we're eating healthy yeah yeah right? yeah that's a good point i mean that could last all day uh, whether our food chain is safe mm -hmm. um but it's still better than tinting and prepared thing and processed foods mm -hmm. yeah okay then i think our our market supplies are are pretty decent enough yes. that we can we can rely on them no do you do you have people uh, come in patients come in and lie to you about your lifestyle, <laughs> you for example, and then you're say saying, no. <laughs> no, I don't smoke. For example, why is it, it uh, why is it unwise to, to lie? I, I think it, it has a lot to do with with your connection to that person. Yeah. Okay. Um, I, I I don't find it often that they will lie that they mm -hmm. smoke cigarette or smoke weed or. I, I, I know stop people from drinking alcohol. Mm -hmm. You ha just have to measure it, no? Yeah. You can't drink two bottles yeah. and, and, and then kind of thing. Oh, and two Lee wine every Friday and Saturday. Cool, relax. Yeah. It's just with the, the, uh, real life. You have yeah. to de-stress. You have to chill. Right. Okay. Because I, I would imagine some people feel like when they go to the doctor, these are the unforgivable sins. <laughs> yeah. Right? So no. I can't tell my doctor yeah. do this. No. I can't tell her. No, I can't tell her I had a glass yeah, of whiskey last no night. confession. I, there, I surely look like no father. <laughs> or go on like one father. No, but it's, it's not. It's, I mean, at the end of the day, you risk yourself right. by lying. Right? Yeah. yeah I, I, that's a good, that good thought, but I, I don't find it often, honestly. Good. Mm. Yeah. I don't find it often. People are... Uh, even with the sexuality and the, mm -hmm. you know that's a big thing nowadays. Mm -hmm. You know, have to be careful. Yeah, mm -hmm. who you tell, uh, who you right ask, who you ask. ask. Indeed, you can oh. assume that your who is your partner and you know, what's yeah. your gender preference. No, mm -hmm. yeah. but you develop that rapport, you develop that connection, and it comes easier. I say, like, okay, mm -hmm. I prefer men, for example, or. As women preferring women, no? Um, as we're wrapping up, um, I want to, I guess, get your advice for, for our viewers. What are some measures that we can take to have a healthy life and so that we can prevent things like diabetes, things like hypertension and other um, diseases? Right. Make sure that we get with fruits and vegetables in. Make sure that we drink enough water, water for the day. Make sure that we avoid sugary stuff, the sodas, the thin things, the processed foods. Make sure that we exercise three, four times a week. Mm -hmm. At least um, get rest as much as possible. Um, and like I say, you know, your early thirties, you you still take two, three concert easy, no? Easy, easy. <laughs> I, can't I can't take half a concert now. I can't even <laughs> take quarter yeah. concert now. Just go sleep after so, um, It's it's again, or 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 one of our biggest objective at medical is that we're investing heavily in preventative mm -hmm. medicine. We actually, and I just left there, and I, we actually have programs where we do outreach. Okay. Mm -hmm. Like we have set a, set a, set a, a group of people to the south or to the north, to the different companies, and they gather 30, 40 people, and they get seen by the doctor there, and blood taken and so forth. And we've reached out to different companies mm. to have these, um, these types of programs going on. So that they, they don't have to travel away to be right. these, no? Right. right. So the citrus people then would gather 
40 people, 30 people. How, how often do you do this? I think it's almost once a month. Okay. Different parts of the country. Do you alert them that you're coming? Oh yes, it's it's a it's a coordinated effort okay. between them, and, and we find that to be very very helpful. And people are grateful actually that they don't have to come with a bleed so for get these things done. People go to them. Okay. See a doctor, as according to Doctor Koyar. See a doctor. That yes. is the preventative. Oh, your health caregiver. I need one neat thing I want to put in, guys. Go right ahead. And it's for national importance. Go ahead. Please, please help you, the media, and everybody else. The church, the LBQT, uh, what do they know? Yeah. Plus, plus, plus. Um, everybody else. Make we got to a CAT scan for the country, I believe. Please. <laughs> public sector. A we CAT scan for CAT the scan public machine. sector. It costs 1.5 million million dollars. Okay. No, I know they talk about Carl Jusha and the part about the Ministry of Health don't have one bloody cat scan. Uh -huh. and it's, it's disgraceful. Uh -huh. mm. And I they call out everybody from the two sides. The one where they, where they, where they had bought part one <coughs> side and the other one where they, 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 they plans about the place. Okay? We need the Prime Minister, we need the Minister of Health, we need the CEOs, we need, we know how one certain. One, one, one lady get shot in the head yesterday, one police officer, mm -hmm. yeah. my boy, and they have to move on. Yeah. Where they move on to? Medical associates. I should have shut my mouth because we make money after of that. Mm -hmm. But it's endangering care. Yeah. You could it's less than the level of care, and I mm -hmm. have to say that. And I sure we, the board chairman will come, and the CEO will come, and the minister will got one nicely story for tell you. But the truth of the matter is, today, 13th of October, 2022, we don't have one CAT scan in the country, at least, for the public sector. Yeah. Which, about 80% of people can't afford it out of pocket. Mm -hmm. And it's so, I got broken in the tears last night, I said, and they bring this lady. Yeah. But what we have, the, everybody drive around in a mm -hmm, fancy thing. And then they want to fight for the next side for, for not going to proper opposition. Yeah. Ridiculous, man. Yeah. So a CAT scan yeah? for the public sector. For the sector. public sector. So okay. that one person from PG, one person from Cairo, one person from Corozal, Mopan, Ontario, could, if they get in an accident or they need one CAT scan. You know, they also want CAT scan in every hospital. Yeah. Just one for the public sector, please. A CAT scan for the public I sector. know you know that I brought this for sale, <laughs> but you could get it in a few months, man. I mean, it is needed, and we do have uh, a lot of fatalities on the, on the road. We do. I mean, more it's, so it's than others. A CAT scan for Belize. A CAT scan for Belize. For the public sector. Yes. As told by Dr. Fernando Coyar, internist at BME. But thank you so much, Doc, for coming. Good. In. Thank you thank for you, Doc. receiving us. Yes. I hope at least once or twice I hope he could come in. And talk to you, he looked at you. So I'm good Both for of now. us, April. <laughs> He's looking at you. But preventative See, measures. The fingers <laughs> aren't too big, so. Yeah. You're not too big. <laughs> <laughs> and with that note, we are going to take another break and we'll be back with the University of Belize. And hopefully, they could champion your um your CAT scan initiative. Yes, I want everybody, <laughs> I want pasta. We had a whole hand with Caleb. After All we right. Need a, we need a, <laughs> a cut scan for me. We need a cut scan. <laughs> we'll take a short break. We'll be right back. Technology is ubiquitous and it's transforming how, when, and where we work. Fulltech Systems is placing award-winning devices in the hands of information workers, allowing them to work without compromise in a world without wires, to innovate, create, and to maximize productivity anytime, anywhere. Satisfying the needs of the desk-centric remote and field worker and every other worker in between, we are providing the industry's best devices to businesses going through the process of digital transformation. Partner with us today to provide the solutions that will allow your employees to work effectively and efficiently to enhance your customer's experience. Full Tech Systems, your technology center 
where you'll come for the price, but stay for the service. Excuse me, sir. Yeah. But how can you pay it your phone? B box. What? What is B box? B box are been his newest rewards program. Really? Where I could get it from? Man, check on the website bbox.bz or you could download it from the app store. And if you still don't know, check that young lady there and she will help you. I will surely do so. Good afternoon, miss. Can you hook me up with B box? Life can be tough when a loved one suddenly departs. Dependents of the deceased are sometimes left alone to pick up the pieces and may be stranded financially. Fortunately, the Social Security Board provides survivor's benefit to ease the burden. Survivor's benefit is paid to a widow or widower, children under 18 years, or up to 21 years if attending school or dependent parents. A survivor's benefit can be either a grant or a pension. Want to know more about Survivor's Benefit? Visit our website or contact any of our offices to have someone assist you. Also, be sure to visit our Facebook page and give us a like to stay informed. Social Security Board, safeguarding you, your family, your future. Great Believes Productions Channel 5, proud winner of nine Caribbean Media Awards for 2021. Best Investigative Report, Best News Item, Best Coverage of People with Disabilities, Best Financial Literacy Journalism, Best Videographer, Best Television Commercial Spot, and the People's Choice Award, with two special mentions for Financial Literacy Journalism. Dwayne Moody, Isani Cayetano, Marion Alley, Paul Lopez, your News 5 Belize teams do whatever it takes, go wherever they need to go, so you can catch the story wherever you are, whenever you want, on whatever device. Channel 5 Belize on television, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, because news is now everywhere, all the time, and so are we. Whether you're at home, on the road, at work, or at school, if you see news happening or suspect that something might be up, call or text the Channel 5 News Belize tip line at 672-5555. You don't have to give us your name, just give us the tip. That's 672-5555. Call or text us so we can check it out. Are you looking for low-cost television advertising? Have we got a deal for you? Advertise on Channel 5's Daily Classifieds. Channel 5's Daily Classifieds is one of the most effective methods for introducing yourself and your business to the community. Use our Daily Classifieds to recruit employees, promote specials, promote your products or services, promote a business opportunity, increase traffic to your website, and advertise items you have for sale. Let us help you to save valuable time and money. Call us today at 280-0013 or visit us at our offices on Coney Drive to discuss how we can help your business grow affordably. Channel 5 Daily Classifieds. Advertise today. When someone you love becomes a memory, the memory becomes a treasure. Channel 5 introduces the Daily Obituaries. The Daily Obituaries will broadcast all death and funeral announcements and memorials to honor your loved one's life and memories. The Daily Obituaries airs on Channel 5 prior to the evening newscast with subsequent repeats at 10 p.m. and 12 noon the following day. It will also be placed online on our social media platforms, all for a standard package fee. Celebrate their lives and memories with Channel 5's daily obituaries. Honor in life and reverence in death. And we'll be back in a few, so stay tuned.
Thanks, Jan. Hey there. We know you have to head out to work shortly, but don't forget that you can stay tuned by watching us on our Facebook live stream. Find us at Open Your Eyes BC, and you can continue watching there. You can also download Facebook Watch on your streaming device, and you can watch at your own convenience. And for all the behind-the-scenes fun, follow us on Instagram at OYE Belize. So, find us and follow us today. are back and if you are joining us right now we're moving into our second segment this morning and it's all about the University of Belize. They are here to talk about their recruitment drive and in studio with us we have Maximiliano Ortega. Good morning. He is the director of the Central Farm Campus. To my left we have Dr. Lisa Johnson, the Dean of the Faculty of Health Sciences. Good morning Doc. Good morning. And to my right, we have Camila Barker, the admissions coordinator. Good morning. So UB is no stranger to the show. Of and course. we are always happy to discuss the betterment of our students. So tell us about this month's recruitment. Drive. All right. Thank you so much, guys. Good morning to everyone watching, everyone tuning. Thanks for having us here this morning. Recruitment is all year round. Mm -hmm. But of course, we have to start with a high start on a bang. And so mm -hmm. recruitment starts in the month of October. Mm -hmm. And we recruit a year in advance for our incoming students for the following fall. Mm -hmm. And so we also have intakes in spring as well. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's, it's multiple, it's dual. We have an intake in spring, we have one in fall, and so we are recruiting for all our programs, for persons who want to join us in the fall of 2023, and for those who want to join in spring 2023. Okay. What does the recruitment drive look like now that you're coming out of COVID? Coming out of the pandemic is interesting. I mean, the, there is an energy there that we have never seen before. The students' interest levels are high. It's like they want more. Mm -hmm. Our sessions are going over time, actually, because the students have questions. They have mm -hmm. inquiries. They want to know how they can get into this. Right. Um, what is university life all about? And so the interest is high. Coming out of the pandemic, we see that students want more of education, and they want to pursue higher studies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's a good look. Let's talk a bit about that conversation that is had with a, with a potential student of the university as they seek to explore exactly what it is that they want to venture into. Uh, how does that conversation start and how do you guide that student uh, through the many thoughts that they may have. Exactly. And so this is the start of it. What we do, we go into, this, into the institution to present the university, to look at the options that are available for, to you. Look at it. They are fourth form students mm -hmm. filled with energies, exuberance, mm -hmm. interests. They're, they're, they're various interests. Some mm -hmm. persons have two, three, four different ones. So it's having the conversation to say, listen, these are the options that are available to you. What it is that you are mostly inclined towards? Mm -hmm. What is your passion? And so we try to align passion, interest, drive with the offerings that we have at the university. Some students have multiple interests, mm -hmm. and so they are not sure which one to choose. Yep. And UB has a program that caters to that too. Because mm -hmm. if a student is deliberating, which we have met quite a few, mm -hmm. they're saying, I love the sciences, but I want to do a little business as well. And they have varying interests. So we introduce them to what we call our undeclared major. So when you're coming into the university, you don't declare a major, whether it's social science, arts, art sciences, you don't declare. You come in, you take general courses. Mm -hmm. And then after you're finished with the value of decision, you know, then you can move into your program. Mm -hmm. And all those credits you do, they transfer with you. Mm -hmm. 
So when we meet with them and talk with them, it's exploring your options. Some persons, they are still soul searching, personality searching. We are introducing them to our personality testing system that we are setting up at the university, mm -hmm. where you can make an appointment with us. You can do one of those personality testing. Learn a little bit more about yourself mm -hmm. and see how it aligns with your interests, programs, and so forth. Mm -hmm. So for the students that already know, mm -hmm. right? They already know what they want. They already, I'm going to go and I'm going to be a nurse or I'm going to go into agricultural okay. science. Um, how does the Central Farm Campus um, prepare for students that already know they want to come in and do agriculture? Well, they have to go through the admissions. Mm -hmm. There's a the process first, right? But um, at Central Farm, we have some excellent programs. Mm -hmm. um, I'm recent addition to the you know, Congratulations, family. welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and I, quite find, find, I, quite, I find it quite interesting that we have advanced a lot in terms of the UV Central Farm mm -hmm. Campus. Um, like I said, we now have two careers. We have mm -hmm. an associate degree in climate smart agriculture and another one in bachelor's degree in um, applied agriculture science. We didn't have a bachelor's degree program. Applied agriculture. Applied science. agriculture. Mm -hmm. So it's more, not, it's more um, than theory. It's mm -hmm. practical. You actually lo do hands-on training and stuff. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I mean, you, we, we have a lot for students. Um, we now have cooperation, for example, with um, universities in Canada mm -hmm. that students when they apply them, sorry, from the associate <coughs> degree program can do study tours. Mm -hmm. So they can go two weeks in Canada or in any Caribbean country that is related to the program, right? Mm -hmm. And most recently we went to, I think last week it was, we went to um, Yucatan mm -hmm. to visit this university called Universidad Intercultural Maya. Mm -hmm. UNAM. Mm -hmm. UNAM, mm -hmm. not UNAM, um, UMICRU or something like that. Oh, it's in Quintana. It's, it's in a different, it's okay. in Jose Maria Morelos. Oh. It's a different university. Okay. But we are looking for that kind of cooperation <laughs> and that kind of in, in core networking mm -hmm. so we can add value to what the students are learning at Central mm -hmm. Farm. Right? There are certain things that maybe a central farm really doesn't have, mm -hmm. but by doing this networking, they will offer that kind of value, right. value addition to the degree that they're, get, right. they're getting. I know that uh, agriculture plays a critical role in it our does. economy, yeah. and that central farm is uh, doing its part in some of the research, ongoing research for uh, some of these produce, for example, uh, the tomato, uh, situation right now where uh, you guys are doing a research with the sheds mm -hmm. and the different and the variety of tomatoes uh, in cooperation I believe it's with the uh, Ministry of Agriculture as well as uh, uh, different organizations but this is just one example of uh, some of the work you're doing over there would you perhaps speak to uh, how students fear of after engaging in the programs that uh, the, you guys offer at Central Farm? Well, Central Farm, we do offer a lot of practicals, right? Yeah. In different areas. So, for um, example, we have livestock production, which includes poultry, um, with the, with, um, layers, mm -hmm. with the broilers. Mm -hmm. They have some experience with um, small stock in terms of sheep, goats, and pig rearing. So apart from their academic courses they're getting, which I, which I see because back in the days we just have specific courses, but not that kind of level of um, integration in terms yeah. of, right? Mm -hmm. But now it's much better, they, they get both sides now, mm -hmm. and they get a practical experience in that. So I would say, yeah, we have different projects as well, but I would say that these the students who graduate from there should mm -hmm. be able to manage a farm, mm -hmm. should be able to establish farms, wow. produce for the country, yeah. and that's a, I'm going to add to him because it's it's one of the it's one of the um, the more promising uh, programs that we have in terms of the interest mm -hmm. of student and the they even do um, I mean I don't know anymore if I'm still still on a on a pig and we still chicken. do okay yeah. yeah so they still they produce after mm -hmm. they're done right right so they're able to pack and distribute and sell the products that they I, actually, I see where it, it it breaks this stigma this mindset 
that agriculture is for the uneducated no, no, no. <laughs> right you know you know you know that's that's how some people think oh i won't go into rearing chicken or pigs uh, or do farming because that's something that the uneducated does but here you have quality mm -hmm. education yeah. mm -hmm. awesome in agriculture <laughs> that contributes to our economy and that's being offered by the university of belize you know for catch a chicken I I could tell her I afraid for chicken in I, April. I'm pretty sure all the agriculture <laughs> students could catch Oh, they should not. Yeah. <laughs> but not to your point, it's, yeah. it's true. I mean, um, agriculture is just, is just not learning about the animals and stuff. You really need to have the science behind it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Because all this science, but growing all this thinking, critical thinking, when you reach a certain level, it helps you think about what you are doing yeah. and analyze certain situations. Mm -hmm. right? So to me, like you say, that's what you're educated. Yeah. You need to have that background. Yeah. 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 To be a good agriculturist, you need to know all the sciences. Yeah. And speaking of sciences, I just like segueing to Dr. <laughs> Dr. <laughs> Dr. Johnson, uh, the Dean of Faculty of Health Sciences. Let's talk about the programs that you offer. Everybody want to be a nurse now. <laughs> yes, mm. um, yes, the pandemic certainly brought to the fore the importance of, um, of the professionals that we train. Mm -hmm. Uh, Health Sciences is a collection of professional schools. Mm -hmm. uh, like the um, Central Farm, we train people to be ready on day one to mm -hmm. perform. Mm -hmm. um, and so uh, our, we are more rigid. Um, and for us, it is, it's for the student who knows exactly mm -hmm. what they want to do. Right. Um, nursing, mm -hmm. uh, pharmacy medical laboratory sciences and social work uh, and it's all about the patient the client um, our uh, motto is that we put our patients and our clients first um, that's not an easy thing to do and not everyone can do that mm -hmm. but that is what we train our professionals to be mm -hmm. um, i can still relate to what is happening at central farm because no what uh, Pan American Health Organization is involved with, with um, many ministries and NGOs in the country is the One Health platform. Mm -hmm. And One Health platform includes food security. Yep. And so the role of uh, Central Farm as a center of education mm -hmm. to improve the, the country's ability to feed itself and to make sure that we have options on the table mm -hmm. um, as things progress, climate change is an ongoing situation. We continue to feel the effects. We will continue to, to feel more effects throughout the years. And so um, what is happening at the University of Belize is very important in several sectors, not only for agriculture, but in the hard sciences and in health sciences. So, so when you engage in the health science program, is it only to be trained to become a nurse? Um, you say that like that's a bad thing. Uh, no, it's not a bad thing. <laughs> wow. Don't misinterpret. But we are very focused. Okay. So as I said, you don't uh, come into nursing to, to, to wonder if you're, if uh, this is what, the, it, there is a certain level of commitment and passion that must be there from the very start. Mm -hmm. Um, because it asks, mo it asks more of you, it asks more of the person you have to, in, as healthcare professionals, we have to put other people first. Mm -hmm. yeah. That is the standard of practice um, for these professions. Do you have um, students that come in with, a, with an idea? And I guess this is why re the recruitment is so important, right? They have an idea of what it would probably be like in the in the program or what being a nurse would probably be like, or they want this. And the recruitment drive tells them that this is everything that I want. But then they get into the program and they're like, mm, maybe this wasn't the right choice for me. Well, I think that happens in every situation. Mm -hmm. you, will, you will find that, that um, people grow, people expand, people, mm -hmm. you, wh when you go into university and, and that's the, the, the um, I think one of the roles of the junior college system mm -hmm. is that the junior college system and what um, is offered at the associate degree level in, at University of Belize offers students the opportunity to mature and to be sure 
and to to understand to get a, a, a grip of what it's going to take um, and so the science these are other than social work the other professional um, schools are heavily science-based they're applied science mm -hmm. so you need to come to us with a certain level okay. of knowledge um, and with a certain attitude mm -hmm. because the the making of a nurse the making of a pharmacist the making of a medical laboratory scientist the person who's going to stay up all night and take care of you that starts the very first day it doesn't start at the end no no switches flipped it, it has to start at, the, at day one mm -hmm. and and so we we take pains to 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 explain to students that um we're going to be a little different your your colleagues in, in other areas may have a little more time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and so on and and as you progress you're only getting deeper mm -hmm. and deeper into the into the profession mm -hmm. um i have an uh, an attitude that once you're in and you start you're a student nurse mm -hmm. yeah you're 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 you're, you're from day you're one from day one you're a student nurse that, and that is that is the tradition mm -hmm. of nursing education from day one you're a student pharmacist from day one you're a student medical laboratory scientist i would imagine that your students take pride in knowing that when they enter that classroom on day one at least those who are serious about it that they're about to enter a, a real experience mm -hmm. to to treat the, a real training and, and that brings some level of pride to them. How many, how much of the training is practical versus how much of it is theory? Well, at the current moment, what happens is that in the latter parts of, of, the, um, of the, 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 the degree programs, the full degree programs, um, that's when uh, the practical experience in the hospitals and the laboratories mm -hmm. and the pharmacies around the country take place um, the current model of the nursing uh, the bachelor in nursing uh, program is a year and a half of, of full sciences then into nursing nursing professional uh, subjects all of this time they're actually doing labs simulation mm -hmm. labs mm -hmm. um, and then they move into the more specific activities of medical surgical nursing adult nursing pediatric nursing and so on and those are um those are accompanied by practica which are done in the hospitals and in the clinics and um we are currently in in uh, at this moment we're in program review so we have to every five years we're supposed to be looking at these uh, curricula and and deciding um, after consulting with the employers, those who head our hospitals, those who head our clinics, um, uh, if we are meeting yeah. um, their objectives mm -hmm. um, and producing uh, professionals right. that are functioning for them. Right. Um, and so and the, the, the program review for nursing begins, for the Bachelor in Nursing begins in January. The program review for social work and, and uh, allied health, which is pharmacy and med lab, that starts now. So I, I wanted to, to tap into what you said in terms of the way you prepare your students. You let them know, hey, your friends might have time. You, your time is going to be like this. And that's a, that's a great incentive because you have to take your program seriously. But I wanted to use that to segue into how you market student life, especially now that you are back on campus, you are have your students there. Mm -hmm. um, when you are doing these recruitments and you're talking about all these programs, how do you market student life and the other, um, I guess, cur extracurricular activities that you have at the university? Right, and it's a part of what Dean spoke about. <coughs> uh, she spoke about theory and spoke about practical components. Mm -hmm. So we give the students that full information. But also students want to know what is full life, holistic life. How are you preparing me for the world? Yeah. Right? So after I have been prepared and garner all the mm -hmm. academics and I have this degree, what else do I bring to the table? What differentiates me from the next candidate mm -hmm. applying for this job? And so we delve into that. And that is where we bring in the co-curricular because they are not extra. They are co-curricular activities. They support the academic curriculum. Mm -hmm. And so we talk about the different clubs we have on campus. 
we talk about clubs like debating society environmental club to help them to be socially aware um, clubs that when you get into these spheres you develop interpersonal skills critical thinking skills you learn how to function on a team mm -hmm. right because these are things that the employers are looking for employable skills mm -hmm. so we talk about that heavily in our sessions mm -hmm. we let the students know that hard work and no play makes Jack and Jill a dull boy and a dull girl. Mm -hmm. So we have to incorporate all of this and we market it. We show them the videos, we show them the photos of students who are in the photographic club, the different ethnic groups on campus, the Mayan club, the Creole, the Garifuna. And so we talk about life and diversity. Mm -hmm. Our population is close to 5,000. Mm -hmm. We let them know you're coming in a melting pot of diversity. Mm -hmm. How do you function with others in your environment? and what these co-curricular skills do for you. Mm -hmm. And they gravitate a lot towards that because they know that what we're doing in high school, the volleyball, the football, the sports, it continues into the university life because we are producing the holistic person. So when you leave the university, you're not just a sage. You're not just Pearson or Kendall or mm -hmm. Randall. You're not just this bookie walking around, but there are other facets of your life. Mm -hmm that helps you to be more marketable, more employable, right? I, I heard you said 5,000. <laughs> and um, I, I, we were recently discussing graduation and so forth, which is you, something that is coming up this, mm -hmm. this weekend. Um, talk to us about that ratio of students coming in and students exiting. <laughs> well, <laughs> graduating, I should right. say. Yeah. Right, so earlier we spoke about how many students graduating? Over a thousand. Over a thousand. Over a thousand students, wow. students that are going out, yeah. you know, into the population. And then you look at the intake coming in. Um, in a good year, we can have up to or close to 3,000 students in a good year coming into the university. But taking factors into consideration, the pandemic, the economic situation, mm -hmm. you bring that down a little to about 2,000. Mm -hmm. I wonder just ask briefly about uh, where students can access certain courses. Mm -hmm. Let's say, for example, I'm from uh, Punta Gorda uh, and I want to get uh, enrolled into the nursing, uh, the health sciences program, or I'm from uh, up in Corozal and I want to be a part of the agriculture program in Central Farm. Do I have to move to Belmopan or is there housing available in Central Farm, for example, for me to access these uh, programs? So accessibility is wide and it comes in different forms. You can look at accessibility in terms of how do you get into the university? Mm -hmm. How can I apply for a program? And that's a fully online process. Or if you choose to be old school, you can do the walk-in manual yeah. process. Mm -hmm. And then you look at accessibility from the side of program delivery. So. I mean, our director and dean can talk to you about some of their programs that they have that are fully online. The nature of some of these programs, though, will determine how it is delivered. Mm -hmm. I can't stay home and do agriculture. my agriculture. Of yeah. I can't stay home and do nursing or so. Because I don't want that nurse to touch me when I go to the <laughs> hospital. Yeah. Yeah. So the nature of some programs will determine mm -hmm. how it is delivered. Mm -hmm. You look at a program like the Bachelors in Tourism Management, that mm -hmm. program is fully online. Mm -hmm. You look at our GECs that we offer, the Intermediate Algebra, the College English, the Psychology, the Ethics. Those courses lend themselves to be online right. courses. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the program you're coming into. You might be able to do a fully online program at UB. Mm -hmm. There are some persons you have to come face to face yeah. because right. of the nature. You might find yourself in a hybrid situation. Mm -hmm. So it boils down to what you're applying for, your program, and what is being offered. As we, are, as we wrap up, um, can you tell us where you're headed, what your recruitment is looking like for this month, October, November, mm -hmm. and um, how can students access the recruitment drive? Right, of course. So as I said, we have two um, enrollment periods. Mm -hmm. We have a fall, we have a spring. Mm -hmm. We're actively recruiting for both. Mm -hmm. All our programs are offered in the fall. That's in August. So mm -hmm. for persons who want to join the university August 2023, now is the time to apply. We mm -hmm. have three admissions deadline, so you have no excuse. Students, because yeah. they are always, students are coming in late and last minute, so we have three deadlines. Mm -hmm. We have one the end of January, we have one the end of February, one the end of May. So that's three deadlines. If you're applying for the Faculty of Health Sciences, which those programs are in high demand, we don't play around. We 
because as we open now, it's full. Mm -hmm. They have a specific deadline, which is the 31st of March. Oh. So if you're going into nursing, med lab, social work, pharmacy, you must get your application in by the end of March. Mm -hmm. But for the other programs, we have three. Mm -hmm. If you want an early response, because you have to apply for scholarships, for whatever it is, mm -hmm. leave of absence from work, then you try and catch the early bird, mm -hmm. which is the end of January. Mm -hmm. Regular is February, and the last call, we are not going beyond May, our last call is the end of And where May. do you submit your applications to? And applications are available online. They can download the application form, or you can fill out an online application. And you send that through? And send that through to, to us. admissions? To admissions. So it's an easy process. Admissions <laughs> at ub.edu.bz. Or the website, yeah. www.ub.edu.bz. Perfect. Well, Doc. Sartega, mm -hmm. Ms. Parker, thank you all so much for thank coming you, in. And we hope to see the graduation at a Saturday, right? A thousand and nine and fifty nine students. Okay. And uh, well, job opportunities should be out there. Employers, a thousand and fifty nine students that graduate. That's this another weekend. conversation. <laughs> That's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> thank you all so much for coming in. Um, and with that, we're going to take our next break with our final conversation for this morning. So stay tuned. With eCash, bill payment is extremely convenient, and all utility companies accept eCash payments. What's even better? You get to split bills with your roommates, siblings, or whoever you desire. Simply open your eCash app, go to Bill Pay, tap the respective utility company, enter the information, and pay the bill. Then tap the transaction made. Tap Split the Bill. Select Evenly. Send the request to who you are splitting the bill with and get notified when they pay. Talk about making life easy and avoiding confusion. You can split the bill for restaurants, grocery stores, and for any e-cash payment you make. To find your next yummy meal, hair treatment, or chill spot, simply open the app and utilize the geolocation service to see nearby businesses that accept e-cash. Geolocation and bill payment make life a whole lot easier. And Messi is standing over this. Messi. Oh, no! from great Messi. entertainment stays with you. And we bring you great entertainment. Next Gen, the ultimate digital experience. including our elderly, needs to stay connected with their loved ones. With SMART's Golden Citizen Broadband Program, senior citizens can sign up for 10 megabytes of unlimited internet at a low monthly cost of $25. Citizens over 65 can sign up with a valid ID and receive free installation plus one month free on selected broadband plans. Visit a smart showroom near you for more information on how you can enjoy Smart's Golden Citizen Broadband Program. Smart, bringing people together. Great Beliefs Productions Channel 5, proud winner of nine Caribbean Media Awards for 2021. Best Investigative Report, Best News Item, Best Coverage of People with Disabilities, Best Financial Literacy Journalism, Best Videographer, Best Television Commercial Spot, and the People's Choice Award, with two special mentions for Financial Literacy Journalism. Are you looking for low-cost television advertising? Have we got a deal for you? Advertise on Channel 5's Daily Classifieds. Channel 5's Daily Classifieds is one of the most effective methods for introducing yourself and your business to the community. Use our Daily Classifieds to 
recruit employees, promote specials, promote your products or services, promote a business opportunity, increase traffic to your website, and advertise items you have for sale. Let us help you to save valuable time and money. Call us today at 280-0013 or visit us at our offices on Coney Drive to discuss how we can help your business grow affordably. Channel 5 Daily Classifieds. Advertise today. Dwayne Moody, Isani Cayetano, Marion Alley, Paul Lopez. Your News 5 Police teams do whatever it takes. Go wherever they need to go. So you can catch the story wherever you are, whenever you want, on whatever device. Channel 5 believes on television, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. Because news is now everywhere, all the time. And so are we. Whether you're at home, on the road, at work, or at school, if you see news happening or suspect that something might be up, call or text the Channel 5 News Belize tip line at 672-5555. You don't have to give us your name, just give us the tip. That's 672-5555. Call or text us so we can check it out. All right, welcome back for our final conversation for this morning. And as you can see, we got a lot of we got things. Goodies. We got things. I say basketball. I say drill. I say light. I really, I say really want that vacuum. A two point five gallon wet dry vacuum. There's a Man, I would want here. a vacuum. I say insect fogger. Things I have never even seen in my life. I just want the saw. And so we asked the question this morning, <laughs> April, does Builders Hardware have everything? Really, do they have everything? I feel like this answers your question. Well, even more so, <laughs> we have two guests on this morning mm -hmm. that could really help us answer that right. question. And we're talking, of course, about Jaleesa Roberts, who is a sales representative at Builders Hardware, and James Chuck. So it's also a sales representative at Builders Hardware, and Good they're morning. here to talk to us about Builders Hardware's mega sale and mega while mega it's secret. I understand that they also have a giveaway, but we'll get to yeah, that. Get that later. So right. So good morning. Good morning. Good morning, good morning guys. <laughs> welcome. Welcome. Okay, let's we jump right into it. <laughs> yes, mega sale. Why? Why mega? What does that mean? What yeah. comes with it? Yeah. What are these? Yeah discounts going to look like talk to me jaleesa tell me all right so basically what the term mega sale means as it says itself yeah. it is a huge sale that we will be having that will be running from october 15th all the way until the end of the year wow. so there is no reason why you cannot take advantage of these deals that we do have available so three months of mega sale yes three months man Discount. Discounts, promotions, and they will be updated every day on our social media platforms. Okay, wow. so let's talk about some of those. Uh, first of all, discounts. Mm -hmm. Tell us about um, If I walk in the store today, because it's, it's you know, October 15th. No, Saturday. So Saturday. 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 Right, Saturday. Right, Saturday. If I walk in the store starting Saturday, uh, what can I get discounts on? And what kind of discounts can I expect? Okay, well, you can most definitely get discounts on everything that we do have in the store. Mm. And you're looking at 25% discounts on things that are in the store and 20% on things such as paint. And we know that Christmas is rapidly approaching. Right, and yeah. people, if you do want to take advantage of this promotion, come in at Builders Hardware. And we do make custom colors. So whatever color you're oh, thinking really? of, yes, we mix it there at Builders okay. Hardware. So, I can get my ballet James to jump in at this conversation right <laughs> now. James, Builders Hardware really have everything? <laughs> everything. everything. Really? What is yes. everything? What so, so, give me some of the things when, you guys have. Well, Builders Hardware, when it comes to your building supplies, my yeah. Builders Hardware has it all from the, from the start to the finish, you know? Man. So, even sometimes you walk in the store, you don't see an, an item. Yeah. You don't be afraid to ask. You know, we are there. We have uh, over 100 staff that, you know, are willing to help you. And very knowledgeable of all the products that we have, you know, and um, 
even if you have a project that you have in mind and you don't know how to get it done, Builders Hardware Man, the staff there, they are very knowledgeable and they will help you step by step and give you all the different options that you can actually use or, or um, to get that project done. So when we say everything, we have everything and we brought some of the stuff here because, I see. you know, it's, we have solar lights, foggers, basketball, outdoor, everything, man. So, so, so if I want to build my foundation, I could get a cement. Definitely. If I need the steel for my foundation, I could get a steel. Definitely. If I want the um, bricks for the blocks to put my walls up, I could get that. Definitely. If I want the board for build my roof, I could get <laughs> everything. 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 Zinc, everything. I could get everything. 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 I want to continue. If I want the <laughs> light fixtures, I could get that. We are the number. I want to come to the light How fixtures. How many screws and nails? Enough. Uh, enough. <laughs> enough. <laughs> 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 Yeah, we have everything. And then when it comes to, even when you finish it, like she, she was mentioning, the paint, we mix the colors. We have the different finish. We have flat, semi-glass, eggshell. We have dirt, like everything, man. We I have so if I, day. when I don't finish my house and I have everything in there and I want a wife for kids, <laughs> Together, oh my I mean, goodness. I'm pretty sure we <laughs> could give you advice. Sure we could give you advice. Builders, yeah. And if you see the woman, we buy the chainsaw. Yeah, that girl, yeah, that, 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 that Does that, that say wife for wrong? Yeah, does that say <laughs> wife? Exactly. Select them on wow. what they're buying, wow. and which means they have a variety of things to buy. Okay. But talk to us about the the signs for your discount because we were yeah. we were looking at the commercial just now and you're like discount here discount here discount here so what do i look for? yes so on the items when you come on saturday you will notice that on the items they have signs like these so mm -hmm. as you can see here this is a 20 percent off which the signs will have the percentage that each item mm -hmm. has mm -hmm. that it carries and so here we have the 20 percent you would see this in the paint room mm -hmm. where everything in the paint room will be at 20 percent and then you'll see here that we have the 25% mm -hmm. discount tag, which allows you to understand that the things that are on that rack or are in that area are 25%. Mm -hmm. And then the special that we forgot to tell you guys about are the 30% 30 30 specials. And so these are special promotions that we have running that we will have at 30% discount. Mm -hmm. And so if you don't believe me, I always say come in the store for yourself and you can see the items that will be on these special discounts. And of course, we no have bad. our 50%. It wow. only gets better, Paul. Wow. It only everything. gets better. Yeah. Everything. We have everything and we have the best deals. We do pride ourselves in quality, quantity, and of course, we try to work with our customers. Let's, let's talk a bit about the customer service, mm -hmm. James. Uh, when I step into Builder's Hardware, because I want to take advantage of these promotions, mm -hmm. uh, what should I expect? Uh, should I expect that I'll be greeted by somebody that will assist um, if I'm not fully abreast in terms of what exactly I need? So then tell me, go for a certain type of screw. But all I know is that they have a leak crasp on the top mm -hmm. and about this size. Do I have people there that could assist me? And how do I find these people? Definitely. Well, the beauty, like I said, the beauty about Builder Shire, most of the, the staff that are there, well, all the staff that are professional, well knowledgeable about the items that we have in the store. Mm. So when you walk in there, all you need to do is, man, I have this project in mind. I don't really know what I'm doing or what I, what I need, but the, and there is where we come in. We will advise you, we'll get you to the right product. And um, yes, we will welcome you, we'll give you different quotations. Like I said, we'll go step by step and show you the different options that you can use. And of course, and then we always question, you know, uh, is it interior or exterior that you're trying to use? So we, we, we ensure that you get the right product for the right project that you're working on. I mean, we're looking at the discounts and we're talking about customer service and the aid, mm -hmm. but let's talk about the deals because I know that you all have a lot of deals to offer, but in particular, you have that the red, red hammer. hammer deal. That's right. Okay, so if you do follow us on social media, whether it be Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, you will notice that you have a TikTok. yes, we yeah, ventured into TikTok, TikTok recently. Be sure to follow us at Builders <laughs> Hardware. Sorry, really. you know our young staff. <laughs> they, <they're laughs> right here. It's right here. <laughs> Me. Well, yes. So as you know, TikTok is the new trend, trend, yeah. trend yeah. when it comes to young people and reaching mm -hmm. out, especially when it comes to marketing. When young and people want to buy a hammer. Why would you not I need agree. a hammer? hundred percent. It's better to be prepared. <laughs> it's yeah. always better to be prepared. So yeah. what we have here is the red hammer deals what these are are special promotions on items um at the moment we have several different items from doors we have wind chimes if i'm not mistaken we do have a TikTok about that one that we have on like 
50% discount. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so you can come in and see for yourself what the Red Hammer discounts are. You'll see this sign that says Red, Red Hammer, Hammer deals, deals on the item that is a Red Hammer deal. Okay. And so when you see this sign, be sure to see one, one of our sales representatives and ask them what's what it about, what it go on there, basically, and they will help you from there. I would imagine that these, these types of deals would be going super fast they because do. of how excellent the deals they are. They do, and that's why we invite everyone to come out this Saturday. And you do not only have this Saturday, it's leading up to December 31st mm -hmm. until the end of the year, so you can take advantage of it. There's your no launch reason begins why. on Saturday. Yeah. Yes, the what launch. What time do, do your doors open? We open at 8 o'clock. Yeah. So let, let's talk a bit about um, delivery services. Is that something that is offered, let's say, I am in Dangriga, right? And I understand that builders have this uh, mega, these sale. mega sale going on, and I'm about to build. So I want to go to Builders Hardware to get some of my materials. Definitely. I can't take it in my SUV because the cement blocks, they're too big, yeah. and the, the, the steel and, you have and to put, everything. You have to put the wife and kids on their, on their roof. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> and you can't do that because, you know. Yeah. So, yes, do you guys do. deliver? Yeah, yeah we, do, we do deliver countrywide. Um, okay. And even so, if you're far and if you're watching this right now and, and you want to find out if we have an item or, or you know, a specific item, you can actually reach us on Messenger. We will also send you um, quotation, definitely send mm -hmm. you quotation, send you pictures of the items mm -hmm. with the price. Wow. And to make it even easier, you can actually do an online transfer, you know, and we, we ensure that the, the, um, on the transfer has arrived and we get your stuff, you know, to you. Mm -hmm. so, at if, so if I make the call, I could still get in on the mega sale if I just call in and ask. So I don't have to come into the store to get in on the mega sale. That's right. You can okay. call in and we will allow you to understand what discounts you are eligible for, okay. for whatever item you are looking for. And just to expand on what James was saying, we indeed do serve the country, customers countrywide. Mm -hmm. And so we are not limited to only the Garden City, but okay. we expand to different parts of the country yeah. via delivery, whether you can oh just God. message us, you know. We have everything. No, we, we have everything. everything. And, um, that's, that's amazing. <laughs> so, it's, but, but can I also reach out via social media, Facebook, Instagram? Yes, you can find us at Builders Heart where Belize and you can find us on Facebook Instagram and as we mentioned earlier TikTok, TikTok. so um, so I understand that you have a, a giveaway yes this morning what do our viewers need to do okay good morning once again everyone what we have here today is a hundred dollar gift certificate oh, to shop with us at builders hardware when we brought it in Shelly Paul said we're not cheap <laughs> <laughs> so you have a hundred dollars to spend in the store so what we will be doing is that we will be asking a question in regards to builders hardware and if you can comment in the Facebook live yeah. that is currently going on mm -hmm. the first person that answers the question properly will be able to win this hundred dollar gift I certificate like don't and if you don't question. believe me this is it right here uh, <laughs> and what there I ask is the question. Is the question. All right. So the question of the hour is, <laughs> <laughs> what is the percentage of discount that we offer on paint? Oh my oh, God. that's a good one. What is the percentage of discount that they offer on the paint products at Builders Hardware? If you want to win oh, this $100 gift certificate, tap into our live stream at open your eyes bz open your eyes bz facebook live stream and the first person that answers the question properly will walk away with a hundred dollar gift certificate courtesy of builders hard we're do it now guys do it now we'll be back for a wrap up to answer to give you the um the winner of that gift certificate yes a hundred dollars a hundred dollars wow Anything else we left out? <laughs> <laughs> let's see who let's see who's the winner of this gift certificate. I mean, okay. we uh, we have to do only drum roll playing, but let's just go back to when you're opening your launch. Um, talk to us about how we can access builders. You open this Saturday for the mega sale. It lasts till December. Yes, that's okay. correct. And something that we do want to mention, what we do want to mm -hmm. mention as well is that. Ever since we started, we can see the progression of the company, and that is something that we have very much spoken about, 
especially during the sale time, is speaking about how much we have progressed and how much we have changed with the times. And so, uh -huh. mm -hmm. and so we, do, we do encourage everyone to come and shop with us and you come in to Builders Hardware for yourself. We do have professionals that can help you even if you're not sure what you might be looking for. Mm -hmm. We have persons that can assist you in knowing what you would like to get. One question, and this is a question where I have to ask as a Belmont person, right? All right. On the like closed builders at one o'clock past on past Saturday, on our open all day. On our open all day Saturday. No, we will be closed at one on Saturday. Okay. But keep in mind that you can take advantage of it from now all up until December thirty first. Yeah. Okay. So every day. Yes, every day leading up to December thirty first. Okay. We. We already um, have, have a winner, winner and we're waiting for the name to come in mm -hmm. to yeah. one person. Yes. <laughs> one person. Of course, guys, one we person. got the winner very, very quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you guys for participating they, in the live. They, Honestly, people thank you. They, people they watch. I, so. I, I understand that there's multiple, there's multiple <laughs> people that got it right. Yes, but, but the first person, the first to person, answer that. right? Drum roll. Next, next year we might do more than one, but this next year we got one. Yeah. Drum roll. So yes. we're gonna get we're gonna that, get that name, name in just a few because I, you know I already I, I think I already know who wins. You think so? Yeah, I think I already know. Who we have loyal we are we we have loyal fans on All this right. on this show. I think I think that, have, that, that message you guys came have loyal yeah, fans that message loyal that message came in and the winner of the hundred dollar gift certificate to Builders Hardware is Yolanda. Oh, Yolanda Cole. I mean, Congratulations, I, I, I had Yolanda. A, I had a, um, I had a few, I, I had a few persons in mind, and she was definitely in my list. So, well, congratulations, Yolanda. Where can they receive their right. gifts? Congratulations, right? Yolanda, and thank you for participating in our giveaway. So, you can come and collect this in build at Builders Hardware in Belmopan at oh. our store. So, come in store, bring your ID, and come and claim your gift certificate. Thank Yolanda. you for participating, Yolanda, and Yolanda. congratulations once again. I'm not sure where Yolanda is from, but we are meet up the builders. Yeah. That's oh, why we're in Oh, oh, oh you yeah, are your friend now that she <laughs> wins a <league> gift certificate. <laughs> Let's make this happen, Yolanda. This, this could be the start of something. That's great. not how you think about it. Folks, thank you so much for coming. Thank in. you guys for having us. Are you convinced that they have everything? I am convinced they have everything. I mean, I'm still just looking at what the type of products we have here, April. I'm looking at a stove top. So and all of these items can go for at least 20% off. That's you right. You could actually go and Some get of your Most of them actually I will be at 25%. These are the 25%. Are so that basketball would. So we're 25% off at this 12 top, 25% off. So Paul, I'll give you a Christmas gift ideas. I'll tell you, I'm going to There you go. This is a nice Christmas gift idea. That basketball so is while nice Paul is sorting out everything and being mind blown by builders, <laughs> we're going to take our last break and we'll be back for wrap up. So stay tuned. <laughs> including our elderly, needs to stay connected with their loved ones. With SMART's Golden Citizen Broadband Program, senior citizens can sign up for 10 megabytes of unlimited internet at a low monthly cost of $25. Citizens over 65 can sign up with a valid ID and receive free installation plus one month free on selected broadband plans. Visit a smart showroom near you for more information on how you can enjoy Smart's Golden Citizen Broadband Program. Smart, bringing people together. Galenia Hospital, located in Cancun, Mexico's premier tourism destination, is a state-of-the-art healthcare facility that provides highly specialized medical services. We are Quintana Roo's biggest private hospital with board-certified doctors and staff. Some of our services include Cat Lab, Adult Intensive Care Unit, Neonatal Intensive Care Unit, Emergency Rooms, Operating Theaters, Ambulance Services, and more. We are a medically accredited hospital by JCI, Accreditation Canada International, and General Health Council providing extraordinary care in every specialty from our cardiology department 
to our Neurology Center. We are focused on treating the entire person, body, mind, and spirit. Contact us at medicaltourism at hospitalgalenia.com or visit our website at www.hospitalgalenia.com. Come to Galenia Hospital in Cancun for a truly personal medical care experience. Your life just got a lot less complicated with Belize Bank Contactless MasterCard Debit Card. Introducing our standard debit and MasterCard Platinum Debit Cards. Now you can make purchases anywhere MasterCard is accepted with one tap, pay and go. Your contactless card never has to leave your hands, especially in these times. And your card is embedded with multiple layers of security. Platinum card holders get to enjoy extra benefits like price protection, purchase protection, trip inconvenience and luggage protection just to name a few. Start enjoying a cashless lifestyle today with the Belize Bank. Great Belize Productions Channel 5, proud winner of nine Caribbean Media Awards for 2021. Best Investigative Report, Best News Item, Best Coverage of People with Disabilities, Best Financial Literacy Journalism, Best Videographer, Best Television Commercial Spot, and the People's Choice Award, with two special mentions for financial literacy journalism. And we are back, and of course our friends from Builders are still here, because Paul, they have everything. They have everything yeah. and they could even help you wrap up. Exactly. But, uh, <laughs> April, it was a great uh, time this morning. Mm -hmm. We had, of course, in our first conversation, Dr. Koyar reminding us why, sh why we should get our regular checkups yes. um, and some of the preventative health measures that we can put in place. He also reminded us that it is Breast Cancer Awareness Month all of October. So, of course, they, he wanted to highlight the fact that they have a new mammogram. And so, of course, ladies please get your checkups. Um, right. And our second conversation kind of segued into education and of course, um, kind of like keeping with that line of being informed, being educated. Our folks from the University of Belize were here with us to talk about their recruitment. Drive. And we want to thank them. And then finally, of course, we had our friends from Builders Hardware who were in to talk to us and they're still in. In fact, they don't know why I left. I mean, I say, they right, try to save your like. land now. I can pick up this this um, <laughs> this hundred dollars thirty so, three k. So and they of course came to tell us all about the mega sale that begins on October fifteenth, where you could get everything in store on discount. discount. You have from twenty all the way to fifty percent discount. Yeah, fifteenth of October to. December. December. The end of the year. And Two remember, months and a half. If you do not know what you want, we have a knowledgeable staff that can help you. <laughs> and that is why we have them. <laughs> That's why they're still helping yep. us wrap up. But yeah. of course, we want to thank you, of course, the viewers, for tuning in and starting your morning right with us here on Channel 5. If you have any questions or concerns, you can always drop us a line right here at OYE at Channel 5 BZ. And you can also catch us on our Facebook at Open Your Eyes BZ, where you can win gift certificates like Yolanda. Mm -hmm. And you can catch our highlights on Instagram at OYE Belize. We are so thankful that you tuned in, you opened your eyes. And you start your morning right. Be sure to keep your eyes, your minds. And your hearts open. A wonderful day. Please stay safe, Belize. Goodbye. Open Your Eyes was brought to you by the Belize Bank, our country, your bank.